Hello, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Doris. Uh, so today I'm glad to show my final design about Francisco Reservoir Open Space. And um, from last meeting, uh, almost the people like, like my maze idea. So today, this time, I still keep this maze idea be here and for people for fun in the future. Um, for, uh, this is floor plan layout. You have four opportunity to go in the park. Two access at Bay Street. One is uh, one at High Street and another one at Larkin Street. Mm, first of all, let's start from Bay Street and to give you a trip here. Mm, from here, you have three design components of flower trees, and under flower trees, you have a, a, there is a, a ground cover to smoothly connect flat level to the slope. So here is a ground cover shape. And from these ramps going up, there is a community, community gardens, and here is wetland. And this big shape is open space, sports field. Around sports field uh, have bench around here. And going up and going deeper from this uh, from these ramps, here is a small plaza and in the forest. So here is quiet. People can sit here, have do, uh, chatting or lunch here. Mm. And this shape uh, here include two children's playground and maze and bench here. So I separate two different age of children's playground. One is younger and maybe one is uh, maybe from three to five or five to seven. And last one is upper view. You have two opportunities going up. Here has stairs. So almost the people can can use these wraps. And this one is universe access. So people can use wheelchair going up. So followed by this going to the top. And on the on the ramps, you, uh, there, there are benches here. And um, people can sit here also. And this one is axonometric to show the different levels. This one is existing buildings. Here is a uh, steep, steep slopes. Here is a existing reservoir. And here is a uh, slope and flat level. Mm. The maze idea is still, still here. And it's, I think it's clear to show the, the different levels. And this one. The section, people stand face straight and face to the reservoir open space. Uh, this one gave a big feeling about the, uh, my park. Uh, this one, the stairs, is existing stairs. This one and this one is two uh, staircase going up. And followed by these ramps here is the plaza, the uh, open uh, sports field. Here is opportunity, uh, no, sorry, community gardens. And here is Larkin Street, uh, High Street going inside. <coughs> and uh, this architecture line lines to show the upper views, how people going up. And the last one, the section is cross in the middle and face to the Larkin Street. So here is flat level with flower trees and slopes gardens. Here is a wetland garden. And from this part and this part is a sports field. And this shrubs is uh, the plaza here. And here to show the ramps and how high people going 
up. Thank you. This is my final design. Thank you. Uh, should we do questions? Oh, yeah. Hi, David. Um, just a question. What are the surfaces? You have different uh, things here. Um, so this is a, a children's playground here. Yes. And what are, is this just what, like gravel, or what, what, what are your surfaces uh, in these areas? OK, th this surface, I use sand so young children can stay here. And this one, the surface, uh, the paving use rubber. So the rubber is soft. It can protect the children. And this uh, low shrubs is a maze idea. Mm -hmm. So it's very low. People can uh, stand, can see the whole area. And what about the uh, pans? And, uh, have you decided what, or suggesting some sort of surface for the various different walkways that go around? Or you mean around? Both the upper ones and you know, going from the different areas, you, you show paths. Uh, you mean this yeah. small entrance? Uh, the upper view paving, yeah. I use a concrete, a uh, color concrete. Yeah. Doris, if I wanted to walk the stairs from the Bay Street all the way to the top of the path, would that take all of that stairs? Uh, no, from here to here is flat. I use stone, yeah. So, so here I, to here is. I climb up to the top on stairs. Is there a way to do that? You have the stairs on the right side. Can you show me up the stairs? Can you um, where are the stairs to take to go to the top? Where are all the stairs? Um, you have existing stairs. Um, be honest, from here to here also have a flat level going up, and mm -hmm. from here the stairs going in. Going up. That, that staircase, this staircase takes me to the open space? Yes. And then, can I go all the way to the top on stairs? No. No, okay. Thank you. So those stairs on the right, are those also, those are the existing stairs? Yeah. So those stairs are there also? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, if you use this one, can use the Larkin entrance going inside. Okay. So you go out and go up to Larkin Street? Yes. Yeah, Larkin Street. All right. So yeah. to the existing um, road, you know that dirt roadway? Dirt, soil. The soil, like are we, the, the flat area, is that, um, what is that relative to say the roof of the tank? Um, just, Doris, why don't you point out, most of the area, just to answer that question for her, is most of the site is the C grade, except for point out the, the area that you regraded. Um, yeah. Um, I knew grade is a little bit small from here to here, just uh, this part. That's so it, yeah. So it's easy to connect the the deep slope. Right. It's like a connector. So I use a universe uh, access going up. Um, that's that's good. Um, are you plan are you suggesting to fill the existing uh, reservoir with soil or mm, a part of uh, a part of still keeps the wetland and can use a reservoir uh, or original function or something and another part maybe use soil to to fill it just, just a, just a basic comment. I mean, showing the existing grade on the large section, uh, dotting that in. I think uh, this one is existing slopes. Okay. 
existing slopes. So you're saying All add in, to dash in the existing reservoir. Well, then I can create, then, then someone would yeah. say, oh, we're, we're adding yeah. fill or not. That's a good point. Yeah. No. I guess. Yeah. My question would be, did you, as far as access for, like, the children's playground, mm -hmm. that means there's a, strollers and things have to kind of push uphill, or uh, how are they going to, or do they, uh, do they simply access it from the, sort of the Francisco Street right-of-way area to get to the playground rather than? I mean the if children yeah. for small children or, yes. or mothers or toddlers mm -hmm. have to be go up to get after. Oh, okay. Uh, I think if if mothers keep the small children chair also use this universe going up. Because here have a stairs. So if they're coming from an aquatic park area. Oh you mean you mean here? The other thing is, uh, it sounded all about the problem of security in your little area right there. Uh -huh. It's been kind of hidden and perhaps not very safe. Mm. I think here it's quite more quite open and the trees is not so many and the plaza just fits to the big open space so I think the safety is not so big a uh, problem. Is it on a section? A section here around the plaza have shrubs mm -hmm. so the plaza is over there. Mm -hmm. Yes, same location here. Any further questions? I, I mean, stop me if we're doing out of time. So, um, one thing I very much like the uh, convening space on the middle of Hyde Street, uh, where it the parade intersects anyway. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. But I'm looking at like, and I also I love the bottom portion of the plant. And overall, I think it's fantastic. Um, but looking at um, my, my experience as I go up Bay Street and I, and I go, you know, through the park, up the stairs, I curve to the right, and I get all the way up to the Wildlands area. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to, to have a little connection to High Street at the very top corner, because many um. tourists they're, they're taking mm -hmm. the path up from below and getting up to the curvy part of Lombard. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yes. you know, it, it, so, you're walk, so instead of going straight up High Street, you're going through this lovely park. And it's, it, I think it, the grade almost touches on the top of the corner. It's a minor. So here I have a small entrance yeah, going in. Like this big is there a big grade shift? Yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, here has... Or something. <laughs> well, the very top corner is getting kind of close. I mean, you know, you're going to ask. Well, I, I can see a lot of people, tourists on cable cars, saying, oh, uh, if they know about this, stopping at Chestnut, getting off, and then maybe having an access just a little ways down off Hyde Street, you know, like a circular staircase mm -hmm. or something that would lead up to the top. Right. Yeah. But, I mean, you could, on one hand, you could also say, well, that's wildland up there, and, and you can access in the middle of Hyde Street anyway, so what's the extra 40 feet for? Or, isn't, so, isn't the ground much, right here pretty much flush with height anyway? Or no, is it drop? not that, no. no. Isn't there a big drop here? Part way down, about down where she has the entrance, uh, actually the entrance is here. Yeah. Where the grade is. Where you graded in your, in your, in your grade? grade? Maybe there? Here. Yeah. Maybe there. Yeah. Yeah, I think, Steve, when you're, when you're standing at that spot, when you, the Golden Gate Bridge first comes into view and the building, if you look over the wall, then it's a 15, 20 foot drop. You know the top one? Right at the top one. Really? Or, <laughs> it's, it's or quite you could put a mound of dirt so that you could... Well, you could probably do that, but I mean, just in the existing condition, it's a drop. And, uh, yeah, maybe it's too... You know, I agree with, with hey, you know, this would be a nice walking route to kind of come in here and... 
You walk out. Yeah. And going out. Yeah. And go come out. These comments are good because then you know for the next iteration you can just put that on your list. Mm -hmm. Something you want, you know, right. just basic data to fly the stairs there, or to bring in some soil and, and to provide it. Are you a circular ramp? I've seen certain places where things are kind of tight, where they, uh, it's in Japan or someplace that, where they had a big drop and they put a circular ramp that went down to the grade that they needed to access from a street level. So there are certainly way different options. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say, I think the sinuousness, the curvy nature of it is lovely. Oh, and a nice you. refuge from the urban environment that mm -hmm. is around. I did have a question. Uh, if you could just talk maybe about the water feature and what that would be like. OK. Um, I think the wetland, if in, in, in the summer, the plants will, the flower would bloom. And in the winter, maybe the water dry, but still have a uh, stone here so it's like a dry uh, landscape like a uh, Japanese garden here even though it looks like it's well uh, you, you've given privacy to the site which I like very much but it's still very open and mm -hmm. taking advantage of the view so your trees are right and all of your low plants are in the right place. So people will be able to enjoy that off the street feeling that Richard mentioned. Um, but they'll still have the benefit of this wonderful green space. So you've done a really nice job. It's a huge mm -hmm. uh, positive change from your first drawings. It's really yeah. a wonderful big leap for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Good job.